This week, a magic radio workmate invited me to play Nine Holes, but not as you or I know it. Well, my mate Bob Gentle said, how about nine holes of golf after work? I thought, good idea. So he said, how about coming to the new golf course at Henderson Park? Whoa, whoa, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. We hey, won't Bob? need those. I'm talking disc golf. Disc golf? Disc golf. Disc golf it is. Bob's been playing disc golf for more than 40 years, so who better to teach me than the man himself? So, Bob, these are your clubs. Yep. Clubs. <laughs> yeah, exactly, my, my clubs. Now, they're all, they're all obviously discs. Um, you know, what's the difference between one and the other? Well, I've got a bunch of drivers, I've got some mid-range discs and a couple of putters. The drivers are quite beveled edged, yeah. so they're sort of quite sharp. Um, that's more of an up, up shot. It's ideal for floating around trees or oh, right. angling around something. Yeah. And then um, a putter, which is a, a more rounded edge disc that flies pretty straight. I think we've got to see it in action. We want to see you drive off, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> no, no pressure. <laughs> I'll be Rory. <laughs> nice. Took that tree out. Oh, nice. Hey. Oh, nice. Well, in golf, of course, you mark your ball, but here, you mark your disc. And I've got a bit of a challenge here, uh, Bob. You've snookered yourself, mate. <laughs> Interesting. Sneaking myself. Oh. Ooh. Ugly. I think you might have this hole in the bag. I might have. I might yeah, have. You reckon you're fairly little. confident. So he puts his marker down. Bagger. Disc golf has been an established worldwide sport since the 1970s, and with courses popping up all over the country, it's turning heads here in New Zealand. Shot. Sensational. <laughs> Put it there. In the hole. Actually, it's not in the hole, it's in the basket. Nigel Hailstone. Thank you, He's Mark. President of the Disc Golf Association in New Zealand, and I presume that's a putter? That is a putter, yes. So, how popular is disc golf in New Zealand? Well, it uh, depends on where you are. In Queenstown, we have hundreds of people a day playing on the course down there. The thing is that if you make a, a great course, people come and play it which is why we love the fact that we've got a great course here at Henderson and hopefully we're going to get a lot more people coming along and joining our game. But on our national tour, we have regular events which will get 50, 60, 70 people coming from up and down the country to play our tour. After stumbling across disc golf in Hawaii back in the 70s, Bob's been hooked ever since, and recently he was recognised for his contribution to the sport. You are now a Hall of Famer. You're in the Hall of Fame, International Hall of Fame. Yeah, it was a, a huge honour. It was a huge honour. Uh, probably more so because I was nominated by the locals here in New Zealand. They yeah. put together a, a prop together and um, uh, end up being um, inducted at the World Championships in 2012, which were in Charlotte in North Carolina. And it was, it was, it was a massive honour. Well, you have the honour on this one too, then. Off you go, eh? Hey, a bit low. Here we go, Bob. This is it. The championship. Yes! Nice! Very <laughs> nice indeed. Now, could you play disc golf on a real golf course with real golfers? Yes, you could indeed. In fact, it's, it's, it, it is happening around the world. The, the, we don't want the sort of wide open fairways that they have and also the, the greens. Yeah. Uh, we prefer, prefer the uh, sort of wooded areas and, the, and you know, like we've just been through here, so yeah. it's ideal. Discs are around $20 each, between $15 yes. and maybe $35 for a top-end plastic disc. And you can play with one, yeah. you know, but maybe two, maybe three, and then once you get into it, you'll want a bag full of discs. Yeah. But for 100, under 100 bucks, you're set up and you're, and you're playing. And as I say, most places are totally free to play. So, you're addicted? I'm addicted. Yeah, watch me in the Masters in 10 years' time. I'll be there. You're on. <laughs>